So after we've got him saddled up, I'm just going to step into doing a basic um, warm up on him. <clears throat> the, the groundwork could certainly become more if you needed it, but what I want everybody to do is at least get some basic groundwork done and get the horses warmed up before people get on them and ride them. So one of the biggest things for me on the groundwork is getting a horse to follow a feel. When I offer this horse a direction to go, I want him to go. I don't want to beg him to go. So right in here, I'm going to offer him. I'm not going to pull him. I'm offering him to go a direction. If he won't find that direction, I'm going to come in with my flag and just help him find it right here. I'm going to just rub my flag on him a little bit. See, my hand is, I want him to go around me to the left, so my hand is pointing out to the left. My hand isn't up here really high, and it's not down here really low. I want it to be about shoulder level. And you can see my horse is going to the left. I've got bend in his body from the nose, the shoulder, and the hip. So if I had a perfect circle drawn out on the ground, his nose, his shoulder, and the hip would be following that circle. That tells me that all four feet on his body are reaching equal. That's very important. If his head was tipped to the outside, I'd give it a small tug to the inside and I'd leave him alone. I have to make sure that nose, the shoulder, and the hip are all on the same line on a loose lead rope. I'm, I'm not hardly holding on to him at all. This horse knows these boundaries, but this is how every horse should feel right here. So here's something that I really think is important. I'm not changing hands in my lead, but I'm going to shorten up with my left hand and I'm going to take a step into his hip. The nose comes to me, the hip goes away. His left hind foot is tracking in front of the right hind foot in here. As soon as that left hind foot leaves the ground, I ask it to track in front of that right. Right there, he's a little bit stuck, so I'm just going to help him with the flag. There we go. But I really want to make sure he can stretch that hip muscle out, get his loin all relaxed and stretched, get his blood flowing. There I'm going to open up and just have him walk right back out into my circle. And I'm going to show that one more time. This is very important to me. I'm going to shorten that left rein up a little. I'm going to step right into this hind quarter. The head comes to me, the hind quarter goes away. Right here I'm going to open up and have him walk right back out into that circle. I want to make sure that's really good before I change hands and step into the hip and move the front end over to go this other direction. Again, my right hand keeps him active. I don't have a, I, I don't have a big grip on that, on that lead in there. I'm going to shorten the lead up right here. I'm going to step into his right hind. His right hind foot, you can see right there. Is stepping in front of the left hind. Then I'm going to open back up and have him walk right back out into that circle. Okay? And I'm going to do that a handful of times before until I know he's warmed up. That's really important. I'm going to change hands, step the hind quarters over. I might even get him to look at me and just face me there. Right there, he thought he was just going to go the other way, so I stopped him. I don't want a horse to anticipate what I'm asking in here. We'll let him have his moment. We'll let him think. He's licking his lips right there. He even took a little step to me to, to in my opinion, to, to say, hey, it's okay if I get pet on. And I'm like, yeah, you bet. I, I like you. I'm, I'm doing the groundwork because I like you. <clears throat> and so right here, I might even change it. We were going to the right, and I moved his hind quarters over to the, to the left. I might even keep going to the right. I offer him a direction, he goes. That's what I'm looking for right there. I shouldn't have to spank him or pound on him with my flag or anything like that to get him to go. Okay? I want him to walk around. I'm going to go ahead and change hands. I'm going to step to his hip. I want those hind quarters to step over. Right there, he didn't anticipate. He wanted to stay right there. He's licking his lips right there. He's licking, when the horse licks his lips, I say he's digesting an idea right there. So he's. He's thinking about some things. Now I'm going to switch hands to my left hand. I'm going to open my left hand up right here. And I want him to take me up on that and I want him to go. I shouldn't have to drag him. I shouldn't have to pull him. Okay, you're not going to see me pull on him to go the direction I want him to go. I'll have the hind quarter step over. I want him to turn and face me. But again, I don't want to have to pull him into my turn. If I have to pull him in there, I'm going to give him some slack. 
and I might come back with my flag to help him. I don't have to on Frank. When I offer a direction, he's going to follow that. There'd be nothing wrong with maybe reaching up there and touching him with the flag. If he has to get a little, little energy in him, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. We might just work him through that a little bit here. But if I'm riding him, I might want to put my hand back there. If that bothered him, I just rub on him a little bit right there with that. I don't have to get excited. The, the less excited I get, the less excited he will get. I don't want to cause it to be a situation. And it's the, the one thing we want to really make sure it's never the horse's fault. If he's bothered by this, he's truly bothered by it. Well, it's my responsibility to help him get over it. Horses aren't stupid, stubborn, any of that kind of stuff. If we think a horse is as stupid or stubborn, I know the person that's saying that's been beat by the horse. Okay? So, obviously on this horse here, I'd want to warm him up just a little bit more before I got on him. But that'd be my responsibility. And he can just go ahead and move those hind quarters and those front quarters if it gets a little bothered here. It's no big deal. It's not a big deal at all. I'm not going to get bothered if he does. I'm going to keep my body nice and calm. I'm not going to overreact. We'll just rub on him a little bit. I can start maybe touching him with this flag. It's like getting hit with a sock right there. I'm not hitting him with the rod, with the metal rod. I'm just rubbing the flag all over him in here. Right here, I might just change and step the hindquarters over. Move the fronts right there. We'll go up this other way. Even though he's doing that, I doesn't mean I need to stop. Just a good opportunity to go ahead and just keep the flag on him. There, I'm going to offer him to go. Right there. I'm just going to rub on him with this. We'll just keep him moving around here. He'll get warmed up. He'll be just fine. Get him to turn and face, rub on him a little bit here. I want him to know that, he, that I think he's doing a good job. I don't want to torture him in here with the groundwork. The groundwork should be easy and fun for him. It should be good for him. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be some torturous thing to come in the round pen and, and be worked on a little bit here. We'll see how easy he can lead forward right here. He's coming off of slack right there, that's good. I'm gonna see how easy I can back him up. And I'm gonna grab the knot with my hand, with my thumb down, okay? So I'm gonna grab right above the knot and I'm just taking the slack out. I'm just squeezing the slack out. I want Frank to get soft right here. A little bit of a brace. I don't want his feet to move yet. I just want him to get soft right there. And as soon as he got soft, I release. So just take the slack out. I'm squeezing the slack, there he got soft. Now I'm gonna ask him to back up, but I'm not gonna pull him backwards. I'm going to go left and right with my hand. I'm, all I'm doing is causing it to be difficult to stand still. So I'm going to take the slack out. There's a little bit of a squeeze. Now I'm going to go left and right. And as soon as I get him to take a step back, I want him to be soft right there. I'm going to let him go. I'm going to leave him alone. He'll catch on to this now and it'll start getting a little easier for him. I'm going to take the slack out. I'm going to rock my hand left and right. And there we got to his feet right there there and I'll just release him and I would do that until I could back circle serpentines squares whatever I needed to do with that but I want to make sure that that brace is out it'll it'll help a horse from keep rooting on the halter or rooting on the bridle things like that so that's just a quick run through on some groundwork that I would recommend but but a person would do as much or as little as you would need to with each individual horse